Good evening, everybody. This is Sean back with you. I have a uh, Mario Brothers, Nintendo Mario Brothers PCB here. And I just made a new harness, a new Nintendo harness. I, I got my power supply down here. And I hooked this up. It goes to the edge connector. This will work for Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Jr., Donkey Kong 3, Popeye, and Mario Brothers. And I put a connector in here for the video so that if I'm doing a cocktail board, like a four board stack Nintendo Donkey Kong board, I don't need this whole harness here. So I can not use this. Because I'll just be using the power connectors instead of this edge connector thing. So I put a quick disconnect in here. Um, so I just got this plugged in. And what I am seeing... Check this out how cool this is. It's Nintendo monitor. That's the character screen. Characters are all good. The character section is all good. But there's some sparkly nonsense going on in the sprite uh, circuitry. You see up in the corners here you got some weirdness. I don't know if you can see that. But you see some lines, some garbagey lines there. This little block here. That just screams of ROM, really. A lot of these abnorm abnormalities and sparklies and stuff like that it kind of are uh, looking like ROM or ROM related circuitry maybe the ECL translators are funky uh, got some nonsense going on up there see that sparkly crap the character section is fine there's nothing wrong with the characters on here it's in the sprite circuitry so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull and I'm going to verify all of the Sprite ROMs. Just make sure that they're all good. Um, I kind of think that some of the data is partially erased on some of those EPROMs maybe. And then I'm going to... Is this stuff right here, all of this ECL junk is all related to sprite ram stuff and that kind of nonsense you know so these could be a little bit flaky and causing sparklies that's what i'm gonna that's what i'm gonna suspect first first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna verify these guys right here all these sprite roms check those out and if they all check out okay, then I'm going to, you know what I should do is I should pull all of these and see if it clears up the sparkliness. Uh, so yeah, let's do that. I'm going to pull all of these out of the board and see what happens. Okay, I took four of the Sprite ROMs out of the board. And if you look over here... Okay, it kind of went away. I still have this nonsense going on. Kind of the sparkly line right there. But it cleared up that block that was in the B. That's got to be a round problem. And you'll see up here, the, the sparkly nonsense is gone up here. So that, I would suspect, is a ROM issue. So, okay, I'm going to just continue. I'm going to uh, verify the ROMs. And I suspect it's got some funky ROMs, but I'm going to pull the other two ROMs and see if that clears up. But I don't think that's going to clear up because it doesn't look ROM related, related, really. But you never know. Let's do that. Let's pull the other two ROMs. 
Okay, I have pulled the other two ROMs out of the board. And you can see there's still sparkly nonsense there. So that's not ROM related, that sparkle. I'm going to suspect first ECL. I'm going to go over the ECL, check out the signals, make sure they're looking like they should. Now this is what it looks like with no sprite ROM data. Yeah, so looks pretty bare. But that's still got that sparkly right there and that's I don't think that's character related. Well, maybe I'll pull the character ROMs out and see what happens there, too. Why not? I don't think it is, though. This is, I don't think that's character related. This is all character right here. But. All right. All righty, I got the board turned on, plugged in. And you can see here, I got the ROMs out of it. But when it's just turned on, there's no sparklies. It looks perfectly normal when you first turn it on when it's the board's not, not hot at all. Chips aren't hot. I remember I do have all of the sprite ROMs pulled out because I'm going to verify those. I think I think I have issues with them. But this right here, how this comes down. And normally when it warms up, there's there's junk right here. So I'm gonna wait for about 20, 30 minutes for it to warm up. Let it start flaking out, and then I'm gonna start hitting it with the freeze spray right there well, that'll be the plan okay um, this thing again has been running for a long time now about 40 minutes or so and I did and there's the uh, the sparklies if you can see it it's really bad now it's been on for about 45 minutes so it's really sparkly right there you can see it. And I have figured out what it is. As I suspected, it's it's an ECL chip and I've got it marked here. It's a 1025 10125 translator. What it does is it takes ECL level logic and converts it to TTL level logic. So it's basically coming out of the RAMs and into this and out of this at, at a TTL level. And I will get my free spray ready. I'm going to hit this right here. Right now, you'll see there's the sparklies. I'll hit this. And you see the sparklies are gone. So, yeah. And I just hit this with, the, uh, with that free spray. When you get sparklies on the board, this free spray actually comes in pretty handy. As you know, it's a if it's an overheating problem. So I'm going to replace this guy. And, you know, see what happens. I know the sparklies will go away, so that's a good thing. All right. Okay, I am going through the Sprite ROM. Sprite ROMs for Mario Brothers. And I got to 7P here, and this is a bad ROM. I'm getting different stuff every time I dump it, and it won't verify versus what I've dumped from it. So, and if it was a good ROM and the data was wrong, it would, it would verify with what I'm pulling from it. But see, I'll just kind of mess with it. I'll reseed it a little bit. 
and right now it gave me 09D8 and we'll try to dump it again this time it gave me OA15 and I want to see if it'll verify against that and it doesn't so this is a bad ROM right here that guy it's not the data is not wrong this is just a bad ROM so I'm gonna to have to replace this guy right here 7p so I'm gonna continue with these last two these three right here dumped okay I'm gonna verify the content uh, but they would they would verify versus what I pulled off of them so these ROMs are good is the data good I don't know but I imagine this is the only this is the problem right here is that bad ROM so I'm gonna verify these guys and then uh, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna look at these files versus ROM ident and make sure that the data is correct and then I'll burn a new 7p and we'll see where we're at okay I got the 10 125 ECL chip replaced and I've glued a heat sink onto it I got my new 7p ROM burnt and no more graphical issues So that is it. No more block in the B. How they had that goofy block down by the where the B is in Mario Brothers. So that's it. Now I'll just let this run for three, four hours and make sure it doesn't get any sparklies or anything like that and call this one good. Guys, this is just a quick addendum to my Mario Bros PCB repair. Well, I put it together and I was doing the burn-in test and after about five minutes, much to my dismay, started getting the flakies again. And what it turned out had happened, you remember I replaced this guy. Um, when, I, when I sprayed this and cooled it off, it must have actually got this guy because this is what was bad this ram right here I've replaced it here's the old one I've already removed the heat sink I'm going to glue it on the new one but it's been on for about 15 minutes now and it's not flaking out anymore and it would have it didn't take but five minutes for it to flake out if that so it's been on about 15 minutes now with no signs of flakage. So I just wanted to do a quick one to two minute addendum about uh, what was actually wrong with this board. It was the RAM. It was the RAM itself. I, uh, I let it warm up to where it would flake and then I took my free spray and I just blasted right on top of the heat sink and the flakiness would magically just disappear. So that is what it actually was. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn this off now and then I am going to glue the heat sink back onto it, onto the new chip. That's it guys. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.